What's up guys, Theo here, coming to you with a breakdown for Sean Woodson versus Charles Jourdain. So right now, Charles Jourdain is a minus 205 favorite and the comeback on Sean Woodson is plus 170. And I like Sean Woodson at dog odds here, man. Um, know a lot of people really like Charles Jourdain in this spot. And I've never personally been super high on Sean Woodson myself. I've always kind of felt like he was a little bit overrated. But on watching tape back for this fight, I kind of started to realize that Sean Woodson is probably a little bit better than I really gave him credit for initially. One of the things that he does well in his fights, even though he's not the most physical guy, I kind of wish he would put on some muscle. The dude is great about keeping people back and he's great about neutralizing threats, right? So he's fought a lot of guys that are shorter, more explosive fighters than him, like Luis Saldana, Dennis Bazooka. And he had kind of iffy performances against them, I guess, because people expect him to kind of go out and like finish those guys, but he didn't. He ended up drawing one and he beat Dennis Bazooka by a fairly boring unanimous decision. But the thing I like about him is he's, he's good about neutralizing the threats that these small, explosive, crafty strikers present to him. And that's got me thinking this is kind of a bad matchup for Charles Jourdain, who, frankly, I love, but I think is pretty overrated right now. Uh, people are talking about him as if he's, like, way better than he really was, like, a few years ago. So, yes, the guy has hit kind of a stride and has looked good in his last few fights. But if you look at who he's beating, he beat Ricardo Ramos, who, in my personal opinion, I do not think Ricardo wanted to be in there when you watch that fight. He just didn't have the body language of somebody that really wanted to be there, wanted to be fighting. And he made some really questionable decisions for how good of a fighter Ricardo is. And uh, he got submitted with a guillotine in round one. I don't see Charles Renane submitting Sean Woodson with a guillotine in round one. I don't see that happening very often in the UFC at all, especially with this level. I think that was a dud performance by Ricardo. I don't read too much into that. And then his win over Crone Gracie, who obviously Crone Gracie was stood there and was a punching bag the entire time, tried to get him to the ground. Crone Gracie had no business being in the octagon and he probably should never fight in the UFC again. He openly admitted he did not train at all for that fight all throughout COVID for like three years. So I don't rate that win very highly, even though he did look good. He was doing it against an absolute punching bag of an opponent. And so I think that in combination with the Spartan kick that he has on Andre Ewell, who by the way, Andre Ewell is a terrible fighter. I just think that he's being a little bit overestimated right now. This is a guy with six losses. I mean, we've already kind of seen what Charles Jourdain is capable of. We already kind of know his level. And the thing about Sean Woodson is, Sean Woodson is still a young guy and he's still getting better and better with every fight. I mean, this dude on Contender Series, he knocked out Terrence McKinney with a flying knee. Terrence McKinney is one of the most explosive athletes in the UFC right now, period. How do you think that, uh, Ismail Bonfim got that read. Ismail Bonfim wasn't the first guy to knee Terrence McKinney out. Sean Woodson did it. And that's how Ismail Bonfim figured out that he was going to be able to in that fight. He watched that. So Sean Woodson, I think, is a little bit underrated right now. And Charles Jordan is a little bit overrated. And um, given that, man, give me the younger, longer, taller guy in Sean Woodson at plus 170 here to neutralize some of what Charles Jordan has to offer. I know people are saying, oh, well, he got submitted by um, Julian Arosa with a Darce choke. And uh, Ch Charles Jordan has been submitting guys. Charles Jordan also got submitted by Julian Arosa with a Darce choke. Both of these dudes got submitted by Julian Arosa with a Darce choke. So I don't really read too much into Sean Woodson's submission loss when factoring in Charles Jordan's submission ability. I don't think Charles Jordan is going to submit Sean Woodson. And I think that's honestly his best path of victory because even though he is explosive and he is a great striker, I don't see him getting close enough and being able to do enough damage to Sean Woodson to really make a difference. Sean Woodson, even though he is kind of thin and he doesn't have the most, like, like he doesn't have the most muscular build, he seems to be able to take shots quite well. Um, he doesn't really ever look like he's super rocked or anything like that. He's got a good rhythm on the feet. I just think he's being underestimated here, guys. So. Give me Sean Woods into upset Charles or Jane at UFC 297. Keep it locked in, guys. Going to try to get the rest of these picks out before Saturday. Stay tuned in.